Welcome, dear listeners, to another nocturnal escape into a world of romance and tranquility. I'm your host, Amanda. Tonight, I invite you to journey with me into the depths of the heart, where hidden desires and unspoken longings await. As you nestle into your cozy bed and release the worries of the day, let your imagination whisk you away to a place where love knows no limits and dreams soar freely. If you have been liking our romantic sleep stories, please consider joining our community by liking them and subscribing to our channel so you never miss a new one. Tonight, I bring you a tale of unrequited love, of longing hearts, and whispered confessions. Join me on a journey of discovery as our characters navigate the delicate dance of romance, searching for solace in the embrace of love. So close your eyes and let the gentle cadence of my words guide you into a peaceful sleep where dreams are born and hearts find their truest desires. In the heart of a bustling city, there existed a tether between two souls that transcended the ordinary. The story of Aurora and Daniel began in the innocence of childhood, where they roamed the streets of the city hand in hand, their laughter echoing through the narrow alleyways and bustling squares. As adults, they continued to be inseparable. Their bond, forged in the fires of childhood, was a connection built on countless shared adventures, dreams, and confidences. Daniel was the steady anchor in Aurora's tumultuous sea. His presence, a balm to her restless soul. And Aurora, in turn, was the vibrant light that illuminated Daniel's path through life's every storm. Yet, beneath the surface of their unbreakable friendship, Aurora harbored a love she dared not confess. It was a love that whispered its existence in every shared laugh, in every lingering glance, but remained veiled behind the mask of friendship. Aurora was in love with her best friend, yet the fear of rejection held her tongue captive, binding her emotions in chains of silence. As they walked along the sun-dappled path through a park one afternoon, Aurora struggled to keep her feelings hidden beneath the facade of friendship. She watched as Daniel laughed heartily at something she said, his eyes crinkling at the corners with genuine amusement. She couldn't help but smile, her heart fluttering in her chest at the sight of him. He looked so carefree, so effortlessly charming, and yet so completely unaware of the turmoil raging within her. She stole glances at Daniel whenever she could, studying the way his hair caught the light, the way his lips curved into a smile, the way his eyes sparkled with mischief. Each glimpse only served to deepen her affection fueling the secret longing she felt in the depths of her heart. But despite the countless moments they had shared together, the intimate conversations, the shared laughter, Aurora could never bring herself to confess her true feelings to Daniel. The fear of rejection loomed large in her mind, a daunting barrier that kept her silent and trapped her in a perpetual state of longing. She had seen the way other women looked at Daniel, the way they flirted effortlessly with him, and it filled her with a sense of dread. What if she wasn't enough? What if he didn't feel the same way about her? The thought alone was enough to send shivers down her spine, to make her retreat further into the safety of silence. And so, she buried her feelings deep within her, locking them away in a corner of her heart 
where they could remain hidden and safe from the harsh light of reality. She laughed at his jokes, listened intently to his stories, and pretended that her heart didn't ache with every passing moment she spent by his side. But despite her best efforts, there were moments when her guard slipped, when the truth threatened to spill forth from her lips like a torrent of emotions too powerful to contain. Like the time Daniel had brushed a stray lock of hair from her face, his touch sending a jolt of electricity coursing through her veins, or the time he had hugged her tightly after she had confided in him about an issue she was facing at work. In those fleeting moments, Aurora allowed herself to imagine a different reality, one where she could be honest with Daniel, where she could lay bare her soul and tell him how much he meant to her. But then the fear would creep back in, whispering words of doubt and uncertainty. And she would push those thoughts aside, burying them once more. And so the days turned into weeks, and the weeks turned into months, and still Aurora remained silent, trapped in a never-ending cycle of longing and regret. She watched from the sidelines as Daniel dated other women, each one a painful reminder of what could never be, each one making it more difficult for her to find the courage to confess her feelings. But through it all, Aurora remained steadfast in her love for Daniel, her feelings burning brightly, even as she kept them hidden from his sight. She knew that one day she would have to face her fears, to find it within her, to profess her love and risk everything for the chance at happiness. But until that day came, she would continue to hide behind the safety of silence, praying that someday, somehow, Daniel would see her for who she truly was and love her in return. One day, Daniel and Aurora sat on a weathered bench in the park, the warm afternoon sun casting a golden glow over the surrounding trees. They chatted idly about nothing in particular, the easy banter between them a comforting balm for Aurora's troubled heart. So, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Daniel said, his tone hesitant as he glanced sideways at Aurora. Aurora's heart skipped a beat, her pulse quickening with a mixture of anticipation and dread. She held her breath, waiting for Daniel to continue, her mind racing with a thousand possibilities. I met someone, Daniel said, his voice tinged with excitement. Her name is Lisa, and she's amazing. I met her at work, and we've been getting to know each other for a while now, and I think there might be something there. Aurora felt as though the ground had dropped out from beneath her feet, her world tilting on its axis as she struggled to process Daniel's words. Lisa. The name echoed in her mind like a refrain a constant reminder of everything she could never be. That's, that's great, Daniel, Aurora forced herself to say, plastering on a smile that felt more like a grimace. I'm really happy for you. Daniel beamed at her, oblivious to the turmoil raging within her. Thanks, Aurora. I knew you'd understand. You've always been such a great friend. Aurora nodded, her throat constricting with unshed tears. She wanted to scream, to tell Daniel how much he meant to her, how she had loved him for as long as she could remember. But the words caught in her throat, choking her with their bitter sweetness. 
as they walked back home. Aurora struggled to keep up the pretense of normalcy, her heart heavy with the weight of unspoken words. She listened as Daniel gushed excitedly about Lisa, his voice filled with a warmth and affection that she wished could have been reserved for her alone. And all the while, Aurora walked beside him, her footsteps faltering with each passing moment, her soul aching with the pain of unrequited love. She knew that she should be happy for Daniel, that she should be supportive of his newfound happiness. But deep down, in the hidden recesses of her heart, all she felt was a profound sense of loss. As they reached her doorstep, Daniel turned to her with a smile, his eyes shining with genuine affection. Thanks for listening, Aurora. You're the best friend a guy could ask for. Aurora forced herself to smile back, her heart breaking a little more with each passing second. Anytime, Daniel. And with that, Daniel gave her a warm hug, turned, and walked away, leaving Aurora standing alone on her doorstep, her heart in tatters, her soul adrift in a sea of unspoken desires. The days that followed Daniel's revelation passed in a blur for Aurora. Each moment tinged with the bittersweet ache of unrequited love. She watched from the sidelines as Daniel pursued Lisa with a single-minded determination, his every action fueled by a desire to win her heart. But despite her own heartbreak, Aurora remained steadfast in her commitment to her friend. She listened patiently as Daniel poured out his hopes and fears his insecurities laid bare for her to see. And with each passing day, her admiration for him grew, even as her own feelings remained unspoken. It was on a rainy afternoon, as they sat together in Aurora's cozy living room, that Daniel broached the subject of his self-image and confidence. He fidgeted nervously with the hem of his shirt, his eyes darting around the room as though searching for the right words. Aurora, I need your help, Daniel said, his voice barely above a whisper. I don't know if Lisa sees me the way I see her. I mean, I'm not exactly the most confident guy when it comes to this stuff, you know? Despite the attention his good looks and natural charm drew from strangers, Daniel had always been completely oblivious to his own appeal. Aurora's heart twisted painfully in her chest, a knot of conflicting emotions threatening to overwhelm her. Here was the man she loved, asking for her help to win another woman's heart, unaware of the depth of her own feelings for him. But despite the pain within her heart, Aurora put her friend first, forced a smile, and nodded. Of course, Daniel, I'll do whatever I can to help you. And so, over the coming weeks, Aurora threw herself wholeheartedly into the task of boosting Daniel's self-confidence and self-image. She helped him pick out stylish clothes that accentuated his best features, coached him on how to strike up engaging conversations with Lisa, and even role-played different scenarios to help him overcome his nerves. With each small victory, Daniel's confidence grew, his smile becoming more genuine, his laughter more infectious. And though Aurora couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness every time she saw him with Lisa. She pushed those feelings aside, determined to be the supportive friend he needed. 
But as the days turned into weeks, and the weeks turned into months, Aurora couldn't shake the feeling that she was living a lie. She longed to tell Daniel the truth, to lay bare her heart and soul, and risk everything for the chance at happiness. But each time she tried, the words caught in her throat, choking her with their bitter sweetness. And so, she remained silent. Her love for Daniel, a secret burden she carried with her wherever she went. She watched from the sidelines as he pursued Lisa. Deep down, Aurora knew that she would always be there for Daniel, no matter what. She would continue to support him, to cheer him on from the sidelines, even as her own heart broke a little more with each passing day. For in the end, she knew that true love wasn't about possession or ownership. It was about selflessness and sacrifice, about sometimes putting the happiness of others before your own. And if helping Daniel find happiness with someone else was the price she had to pay for his friendship, then so be it. She would simply have to get over him, she told herself. As the days and weeks passed, and Daniel's efforts to win Lisa's heart continued unabated, Aurora found herself caught in a whirlwind of conflicting emotions. She watched from the sidelines as Daniel's charm and newfound confidence slowly began to capture Lisa's full attention, her heart swelling with a mixture of pride and sorrow. It was a warm spring afternoon when Lisa finally admitted to Daniel that she had feelings for him, her eyes shining with joy. Daniel's face lit up with a radiant smile, his heart pounding with elation as he pulled Lisa into his arms and whispered words of reassurance and affection. Aurora watched from a distance, her heart aching with a pain she could hardly bear. She had known from the moment she met Lisa that she was everything Daniel had ever wanted, everything Aurora could never be, her total opposite in every way. And yet, despite the searing pain of unrequited love, she couldn't help but feel a sense of satisfaction in seeing her best friend happy. As Daniel and Lisa embarked on their journey together as a new couple, Aurora showed genuine support for their union, burying her own feelings beneath smiles and congratulations. She listened as Daniel gushed excitedly about his newfound happiness, his voice filled with a warmth and affection. But despite the overwhelming sadness that threatened to consume her, Aurora refused to let it show. She attended their events and celebrations with a smile on her face, her heart breaking a little more with each passing moment. She was determined to be there for Daniel, to support him in any way she could, even if it meant sacrificing her own happiness in the moment. In spite of her best efforts, though, there were instances when her facade slipped and her true feelings for Daniel nearly surfaced. Like the time he caught her staring wistfully at him and Lisa from across the room, a knowing look in his eyes that pierced straight through her soul. In those fleeting moments, Aurora allowed herself to imagine an alternate life, one where she could be honest with Daniel, where she could lay bare her soul and tell him how much he meant to her. But then the fear would creep back in, whispering words of doubt and uncertainty and she would push those thoughts aside, burying them deep within her once more. And so, Aurora remained silent, trapped in a never-ending cycle of longing and regret. She watched from the sidelines 
as Daniel and Lisa's relationship blossomed and grew. Their love, a shining beacon of hope in a world filled with darkness. As the months wore on, however, the initial excitement of Daniel and Lisa's relationship began to fade, replaced by an uncomfortable tension that hung heavily in the air. Despite their best efforts, it became increasingly clear that they were incompatible as a couple, their differences too great to overcome. They broke up, and Daniel felt a gnawing sense of unease settle in the pit of his stomach as he struggled to come to terms with the realization that the woman he had desired and pursued so relentlessly was not the one meant for him. He found himself questioning everything he thought he knew about love and relationships. His heart heavy with the weight of uncertainty. It was on a quiet evening, as he sat alone in his apartment, that Daniel's thoughts turned to Aurora. He remembered the countless moments they had shared together, the easy laughter, the shared confidences, the unspoken bond that had always existed between them. And suddenly, it all became clear to him. Aurora was the one he had been searching for all along, the one who had been there for him through thick and thin, the one who had never wavered in her love and support. And yet, in his pursuit of something he had wrongly believed to be true love, he had overlooked the one person who truly mattered. With a sense of determination burning bright within him, Daniel set out to find Aurora, his heart pounding with anticipation and fear. He knew, with a sense of clear purpose and urgency, that he had to confess his feelings to her, to lay bare his soul and risk everything for the chance at happiness. When he found her sitting alone in her favorite coffee shop, exactly where he knew she would be, Daniel felt a surge of emotion well up inside him. He took a deep breath, stealing himself for what was to come, and approached her with a mixture of trepidation and hope. Aurora, Daniel said, his voice barely above a whisper. There's something I need to tell you. Aurora looked up, her eyes widening in surprise at seeing Daniel as well as the intensity of his gaze. She could see the turmoil raging within him, the conflict and uncertainty written plainly on his face. What is it, Daniel? What happened? Aurora asked worriedly, her heart pounding in her chest. Daniel took a deep breath, his hands trembling slightly as he reached out to grasp hers. I realize now that I've been looking for love in all the wrong places, he said, his voice filled with raw emotion. I've been so caught up in chasing after something that I thought I wanted, that I didn't see what was right in front of me all along. Aurora's breath caught in her throat as she listened to Daniel's words her heart pounding with a mixture of hope and fear. Could it be true? Could Daniel finally see her for who she truly was and love her in return? I love you, Aurora, Daniel said, his voice trembling with emotion. I always have. It just took me a really long time to realize that. I love you more than words can express, and his voice trembled with hope now. If you'll let me, I want to spend the rest of my life showing you just how much you mean to me. Aurora could not believe what she was hearing. Tears welled up in her eyes 
as she listened to Daniel's confession. Her heart overflowing with a joy she had never dared to imagine. In that moment, all of her doubts and fears melted away, replaced by a sense of pure, unadulterated happiness. I love you too, Daniel, Aurora whispered, her voice filled with emotion. I've loved you for as long as I can remember, and I've been waiting for this moment, for what feels like forever. And with those simple words, Daniel and Aurora sealed their love with a tender kiss, their hearts finally finding the home they had been searching for all along. In each other's arms, they knew that they had found something truly special, something worth risking everything for. As they stepped out of the coffee shop hand in hand, Daniel and Aurora felt the weight of the world lift from their shoulders. The golden hues of the setting sun bathed the street in a warm glow, casting long shadows that danced at their feet. With each step they took, a sense of exhilaration filled their hearts, knowing that their journey together would be a lifelong one. With love as their compass, they faced the future with unwavering confidence, ready to conquer whatever challenges lay ahead. As long as they had each other, they knew they could weather any storm that life threw their way. And so, hand in hand, they walked into the sunset, their hearts full of hope and their souls entwined in a bond that could never be broken. As our story comes to an end, we invite you to linger in the cozy embrace of love and romance that we visited together tonight. Let the echoes of Aurora and Daniel's timeless love linger in your heart as you drift off into a peaceful slumber. May their story serve as a reminder that amidst life's chaos and uncertainty, love has the power to illuminate even the darkest of nights. As you close your eyes and surrender to the gentle rhythm of your breath, may you find peace in the potential for a grand love where you are cherished beyond measure. Thank you for joining me on this journey of romance and enchantment. Please like and subscribe to catch our next story of love. Until we meet again, dear friends, may your dreams be filled with love, warmth, and endless possibility. Good night.